So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your Samsung or your Android phone in general is not detecting your micro SD card slot. Now the first thing I recommend doing is making sure that you have inputted your micro SD card correctly into your device. So you can go and swing your phone to the side whichever way your you know, particular phone has that SD card installed and you want to go and take out that SD card and you just want to go and try putting it back in again. So I don't even know where the SD card is here. Okay so it's right here. What I'd recommend doing is going through taking out this SIM card tray, putting it back in, and just making and just taking a look at this particular card. If this particular card, you know, if the SD card is not inputted properly or if there's issues with it, you may just want to put it back in. A lot of the times that's all you need to do is take it out, put it back in, and see if that ends up fixing the problem. And like I said, for a vast majority of people, that might be all you're really going to have to do here. Now if you do that and that's still not working, the next thing I'd recommend doing is making your way over to your settings application of your particular Android phone. So you make your way right into settings, and then what I'd recommend doing here is going into your storage options. So go right into storage, so wherever your system storage basically is, you wanna go and find it, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do there is you wanna go ahead, and right here under battery and device care, you wanna go ahead and just see if it for some reason tells you about your you know, SD card inside, and then whether you have to you know, reformat it or anything like that at all, Sometimes you may just have to reformat that card inside of your particular thing. Keep in mind it's going to delete everything off of it. So you may want to back up all your data first and then reformat it and then it should hopefully end up working for your particular device. Now if that doesn't work, I'd also probably just recommend going through and software updating your particular Android phone. So make your way over to your software update panel of your Android device and go and try updating it, like download and install the update. And that might end up fixing the problem too and that's another thing I'd recommend doing too. If that still doesn't work, I'd probably recommend checking that SD card and making sure the SD card isn't actually faulty, making sure it doesn't have any random issues there either. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.